Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our knife. This is an Ikea knife. It's one of the best knives I've ever had, just to let you know about that. Uh, but we're going to take two onions. Um, you can get away with one onion, depending on the size of how many shrimp you're going to cook for this dish. <clears throat> and uh, all we're going to do here is just cut it in half. Just take one here. Put it you're going to make sure you're going to cut along where the knots are. Okay, on the top and the bottom, the knots. We're going to just stand it up here. Take it. Take it in half, just like that. And now we're going to peel off the skin. Once you have the skin off, we're just going to chop off one side here. And then we're going to go ahead and just make slices about that thin. Okay, maybe about a quarter of an inch. Just like that. And then these will break up in the pan very nicely and you'll have, they're gonna look like that, okay? So we're gonna do that with our both of our onions. Okay, once you have all of your onions peeled, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in a pan and then put that on medium to low heat. And we're going to simmer for about an hour, mixing it about every five to ten minutes. So let's go ahead and here we're going to go ahead and move our, I got it on about number, about three and a half. I'm going to start it on my stove. Different stoves may vary. But go ahead, we're going to just add the oil. About two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of oil. And that's extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to throw it in our onions. Onions go right in. And what we're doing here, we're caramelizing the onions. So we're going to get those sugars to come out of the onions. And you do that by cooking it very slow and for a long time until they get nice and soft and brown. And it's going to taste delicious. So after about 10 minutes of these going, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt. And then come back in an hour and we'll see what we got. And you just want to go ahead and break up these onions to, to get them to spread out and make sure they're all coated with oil. All right, we got it sizzling a little bit here. And like I said, we're just going to make sure they're all coated with a little bit of oil. Spread them around and then we're just going to let them sit. The reason why we go slow, if you don't go slow, you're not going to be able to pull those sugars out. You're basically going to be frying them and they can burn. So we want to go slow and low. All right, we got two onions in here. And uh, I'll come back and check it in about another 15 minutes and give it a stir. All right, it's about 10 minutes later. And if you notice, they're starting to reduce. They're getting a little bit smaller. And it's going to take a while. Like I said, this is going to take about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. If you see them starting to get a little too brown, you might want to check to uh, check it a little bit more often, maybe every five minutes, or just lower the heat a little bit, just so you don't burn them. We don't want burnt onions. We want to have them nice and caramelized. And two onions, you're going to see, once these reduce, two onions is going to get really small. You, you, you going, these are going to be like, you think it's a lot, but it's not as much onions as you think. But the flavor is going to be amazing. Okay, so we're almost there. You can see how it's starting to reduce. They're getting brown. All right. They're a little bit burnt because I, I, I forgot it there for a few extra minutes. But only a little bit. It's not really going to compromise the dish. So I'm going to let that sit. If it starts getting burnt, like I said, lower the heat. I have it right now. I started at three. I'm about two and a half right now. And I'll let that, I'm going to let that go for another 20 minutes or so. All right, so we're uh, almost done here. All right, this is about 45 minutes in. All right, you can see how it's turning brown. And there's two onions. If you look how small they reduced to, they only reduced to a little bit there. But they still got a little bit more to go. They got about another 15 minutes or so. And it's going to even get smaller than this. But you see all those nice crispy pieces in there. It's going to taste delish. So I'm going to go ahead and just wait another 15 minutes, then once that's done, we're going to throw the shrimp in and then just add our toppings and it's going to, 
be amazing. All right, stay tuned. Be back in a second. All right, so now once we have our onions nice and caramelized, you can see how nice and good tasty they are. We're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp. I I bought a um, a bag. I bought a bag of regular cooked shrimp with the tails on. I'm gonna go ahead and cook it, and then when I assemble our tacos, we'll go ahead and just remove those tails. I like to keep the tails on just to give it a little extra flavor. All right, so I did run it under a little bit of water to defrost them a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and just add those here. And since they're cooked, they only need about a minute or two. All right, so they only need about one or two minutes since they're already cooked, and we're just gonna go ahead and get them defrosted. They're still a little frozen. And we're doing this on low heat, okay? And it's just going to absorb all that yummy flavor. I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper. And once you do a couple minutes on each side, we're going to go ahead and assemble our sandwiches. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and... I get, you could use Haas avocados. This is a, um, this, I think this, I believe this comes from Florida. This is a Florida type of avocado. And the way you cut an avocado is you start from the top and you just go all the way around. Like so. Oh, and it fell right out. Normally the pit would be here and to get the pit out, all you have to do is go like that and it comes and twist it, it comes right out. But it came out automatically because it's nice and ripe. And all you're going to do is just take a spoon. Go right underneath the skin here and go around. And that's going to pop right out like that. We'll save that for later. And then we're going to go ahead and make some slices. Like that. Okay. Now we have that. We're just going to get some romaine lettuce. And with that, we're going to go ahead and assemble our tacos. So, we just go ahead and add some, some shrimp. Grab some onions. Add some avocado. And some lettuce. your shrimp taco.